Hey guys, this is Dylan. I'm going to show you what's new in version 1.6. So we have a few fixes here, um, which will be discussed uh, later on in this video or below this video, actually. So I want to focus on what's new in the plugin. So I'm going to show you what's uh, the clone feature, the uh, reset view feature, and the new uh, way that landing pages are, are uh, linked uh, to pages and how that works, right? Okay, so what we have here is what we're, we're going to do first is going to be the duplicate or clone campaign. So what we have right here is we have a, a campaign called Food Deals. I'm just going to click on here and show you what this page looks like. Okay, so this is a design that I did with one of the VIP designers. If you are a VIP member, just go to VIP Access on the corner here and you'll have all your uh, designers. So you click on Launch Editor. Um, I'll load up, make your changes. Click on slice design and follow the tutorial how to import that. So that's just how I made this, right? Okay, so I have this and this is a food deal. So what I want to do is I want to clone this. So click on add new uh, add new client. And this is going to be a food clone. And this is going to be foodies. <clears throat> so this is the bottom here you can see a new field called clone campaign if you don't want to clone a campaign you want to create a new client campaign you just keep this as none but if you click on here you'll see a list of all your campaigns that you have created so or your clients so I'm click on food deals click on save new client and food clone if I go to view landing page as you can see it's the exact same thing we have here um, everything is the same it's all the same right so just to prove it's the same but different, but now you can make changes. So this is food clone. So let's save changes. So all the CSS, everything that you had in the one campaign is now carried over, right? So this is food clone and this is the original. As you can see, the, the title has changed, right? So that's cool. That saves you a lot of time. So you can build out a bunch of different mockups really, really quickly or even split test between uh, a few landing pages with like a simple split testing pl uh, plugin. Okay, so the next thing here is I want to show you is the reset view. So you can see this in this uh, campaign right here. We have food deals and we have 10 views, right? Because those are just me from reloading and changing the design or whatever, right? So I want to reset those views to zero so we can actually go once we go live and want to set all that stuff back, right? So click on edit client and you can see a new button here called reset views. Click on that. It says done views reset views reset back to zero which is great okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete these two clients here and start from scratch and show you how you would go about building uh, a landing page with inner pages and everything right okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on new and this is going to be a travel site so this is going to be travel deals travel site <clears throat> it's not gonna be a clone of anything because there's no campaigns created so I'm click on save new client so what I'm gonna do so go to VIP area go down to travel launch the editor I'm not well I'm just gonna call this travel actually I'm not gonna it's just for sake of time because there's another tutorial you can see how this works I'm just gonna change this there you go I'm an awesome designer I just changed the color click on slice design I'm going to process so I'm just going to take you through a walkthrough of how I would create a full-on landing page with a navigation system and inner pages, right? So I just copied, I just created this thing. So I'm going to click on copy, click or I'm just going to close this because I'm not going to make any edits to this. I'm going to go and manage clients, go to view landing, view client page, go to landing page. This is a, this is, this is more tutorial about what's new. Uh, so if you're, if you're having a hard time following along with me, don't worry because I'm going too fast. Um, there will be slower tutorials with me and Martin about these types of things. So this is just for sakeing of just showing you how uh, I would I would go about creating a landing page and also what's new in the plugin. So I just imported a visual design or a VIP design with the designer. Uh, you can either do is use it with the designer or you can go through the PSD um, and go through that. But anyway, so I clicked on that. So. So here's my landing page, right? So here's my cool landing page. Uh, as you can see, I changed the color to blue. Awesome. So we have this cool landing page. 
Um, first, I want to do is show you guys real quick. So you have this this image right here, and if you didn't upload an image inside the editor, um, you'll just have this like a uh, placeholder. So what I'm just going to change that to a the video. What I need to do is in the CSS there is a a few rules here called main attention area. So it's main main section. Uh, no, main section. Yes. Okay. So these ones. Main section. No. Main attention area. Image. Main attention area. Just I'm just gonna hit just re, just get rid of those. Hit save. Oh, that's right too. Yeah, get rid of this one too. So there'll be a video on how to do this. I was just doing this on the fly. Okay, so now we have a video here instead of what we had here before, which is great. Um, what I did there, I just deleted some uh, CSS that was imported from the uh, editor. So I'm just going to hit save. So yeah, I have a video. <clears throat> this would be obviously be a cool travel video. I guess it's kind of, it's the mountains and stuff. Anyway, so what we want to do here is we want to link this up to make it have a pretty URL. We want to add inner pages. So we want to add two inner pages, uh, one uh, terms of service and then one a... Uh, privacy policy page and then we want to maybe add a navigation so what we'll, we'll yeah okay first of all let's go ahead and link this so to make this page URL right here which is this big crazy long URL we're gonna make this into a really nice URL so what we want to do we go to pages and we create a new page okay so this is going to be the landing page so I'm just gonna call it the travel landing page and then on the side here you'll see a bunch of boxes here called link local fusion page so what you can do is you can, there's a few steps here so there's a select and the landing page which will be a drop down of all your uh, landing page that you've created so I mean uh, I'm gonna link this to travel deals so I'm gonna hit publish and as you can see here's the purple link so we have the site so this is travel landing page um, so I'm click on landing page right so now we have a we have a nice landing page uh, URL now uh, the land this title and this content here won't be used for anything so you can do whatever you want here but it doesn't really matter because once you have this as an opt-in landing page style which I'll explain in a minute all this stuff here is just is overwritten and nothing is used so this is more or less for you to to know what is the landing page so I have landing page right so that's one before I do that I just want to make this into the home page. So go to uh, settings and then go to reading. And then the front page display, I'm going to click on a static page. I'm going to go to travel landing page, save changes. Now if I view my site here, it's the root of my my uh, install I'm doing on localhost. So this would be your whatever whatever dot you know, www dot whatever your site dot is dot com would be the landing page, right? So we have this landing page which is great. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to add two inner pages. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this open right here. So here is the home site or the, 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 the main, right? So we have travel landing page. What we do do is we're going to create a real quick. So this is going to be travel terms of service. And this is going to be the content. So this will be my trip terms of service okay what we want to do here is you want to link it up to the landing page that we're doing we're creating so this is travel deals so there's only one then what we want to do we want to select a page style you can either choose between a landing page like this with that in that inherits all the settings that you have for that landing page inside of local fusion or you can have an inner content page which again inherits all the design settings so what I'm just going to click on publish. Okay, so now we have travel uh, terms of service. So now what we have here is we have all this all this stuff is inherent from this, right? Now we have a, a content area. So this is the content inside of the post right here. And we have the title, so travel terms of service, right? So we can change this to terms of service and update. And then as you can see, it shows up right here, right? So cool. Okay, now what I'm just going to do is gonna create a new page. This is going to be privacy policy. And then this will be a privacy policy. And there we go. 
All right, so we do the same thing. We, we connect it with the, with the landing page that we want, so it inherits those styles. We don't want it to be a landing page. We want it to be an inner content page. And then we hit Publish. Okay, so if I view. Okay, so here's my privacy policy page, and here's my terms of service page, and here is my landing page. So what we want to do first here, uh, I'm going to go to the footer here, and I'm going to make two links, and I'm going to link them up in the footer. Right, so I'm going to go to my landing page, go to manage clients, go to my travel deals, go to my landing page, go down to here to where it says uh, copy footer, and then I'm going to make a uh, link. So this is going to be terms of service. Then I'm going to make another one called privacy policy. Okay, so the first one to get the links, so I have them open. So here's the link. I'm going to copy this for my terms of service. I'm going to link this up here. I'm going to add the link, and then I'm going to go to the privacy policy page, which is right here. I'm going to copy that. Then I'm going to link it up here. Okay, cool. I'm going to hit save uh, changes. I'm just going to close these two pages for now. Okay, so here is my landing page. Uh, reload scroll down as you can see so we have terms of service and privacy policy if I click on that we have my privacy policy page which looks really nice I'm click on that and as you can see it looks really nice here too okay so what we want to do here is I'm just gonna go back okay so here's my here's our main landing page um, what I want to explain to you so there's a few different things we can do here so we have um, so I'm just gonna go to my land uh, my privacy in terms of service page, right? Okay, so once we have done that, so once we have just the uh, chosen design to inherit all the settings, and we chose to make it this an inner page. Now, what we can do here, so I'm just going to view the page. So as you can see, we have the title here, right? So this is the uh, terms of service title, which was the page title, right? What we can do is we can either show the page title or show the navigation. Okay, now what we can do is if uh, if you want to change this into a navigation system. Um, we can do that on an inner page or on a landing page like right here, but we need to have a, we need to first create a custom, uh, navigation system. So I'm just going to go to click on this where it says show page and then I'm going to go to appearance, go to menus, then I'm going to create a new menu. Okay. So this is going to be travel menu. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into, I'm just going to grab all these pages right here and add them to my menu. Okay, so what we have is this is going to be home, and this is going to be terms of service, and this is going to be, yeah, okay, so that's good. So I'm just make this first. So home first, and then terms of service and privacy policy. Um, yeah, hit save menu. So now we have a new menu called travel menu. Um, you would want to create a menu for each for each site you're building. So if you have like three sites on this one install, you'd call one travel menu, food menu, or whatever, right? Okay, so we go back to my pages here for terms of service. Okay, so enough. What I want to do on this terms of service page, I want to make this a, instead of showing the page title, I want to make this a navigation so they can go to the other pages within this page, right? So click on show navigation menu. And as you can see, uh, travel menu shows up here because that's the only menu that we have, right? Click on update. And if I reload the page here, and as you can see, we have home, travel, terms of service, and privacy policy. So the menu is, is right there, right? So we can go from here, click on uh, privacy policy. This privacy policy doesn't have a menu because we didn't set one yet. And if I go to home, it'll show that, right? So that's cool. I'm going to go to privacy policy uh, right here, and I'm going to set this, just select menu or title. I'm going to show man navigation menu, and then select uh, uh, travel menu, which is the one that we created. And then if I go to terms of service, privacy policy, and as you can see, it will highlight the one that is current. So that's cool. So that way you when someone's on the, on the, the home page, there's nothing else they, they can do besides sign up. And, but if they go to the footer here, then they can see your terms of service page or your privacy policy page, right? So that's cool. Now, one thing you could do is you can 
this area right here. You can also make this a, a, a navigation system on your main opt-in page. So let's do that here real quick. Okay, so the same thing where it says show navigation, automatically we'll get travel menu because there's only one created. And now if I find this page here, and as you can see, we have a navigation system on the landing page. So we can go to our, our terms of service page, our privacy policy page, or our home. That's kind of cool, right? So now you can have a full on site from here. So you can have a like deal one and you can eat what you can even do. Um, some of these pages right here, um, you can create more like multiple uh, landing pages, just clone this one over. So this, so you can have a bunch of deals. So you can have like deal one, deal two, deal three, and all this stuff will be different um, based on the landing page that you're connecting with it. So that's how I would build a landing page with the navigation system, inner pages, and have them linked with each other. So now you have you built out a full landing page with a navigation system and all everything you need. But I would I would personally make this uh, show the title for your landing page. So if I go here and reload now, which shows this uh, nice banner here. So just basically shows the headline and everything. And then at the footer, I would show the navigation, like your terms of service and all that kind of stuff. So that's cool. Um, and the next, so that's, that's the main, that's the main, uh, stuff that's going on here. That was like the biggest updates that we did. So the, the, the duplicate, the clone feature, the reset views, um, creating inner pages, and then also creating the navigation system or having the, uh, title or navigation system. So that's cool. Uh, one thing we've also done is made the international support so you can now have this in any language you want. Um, you'll have to watch another video on how to do that if you already previously have the plugin installed. Unfortunately, you will need to delete your database on if you have a uh, if you're wanting to do all your clients in Swedish or uh, in Spanish or whatever, uh, you'll have to delete the, the plugin and then reinstall it, which we'll show you in another video. And then also in another video, I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks on how to do some stuff that you may not be aware to how to do inside the plugin with some CSS. So for example, I'm going to show you how to get rid of the these uh, content boxes right here, or not the content box, but the features. So if you don't want to have all these features right here, I'm going to show you how to get rid of those features. And then I'm going to show you how to get rid of these, uh, these images here, like the separated images if you don't want those. I'm going to show you how to get rid of the built-in content form right here um, and then replace it with your own HTML so that you can have anything that you want here. Um, and then a few tips and tricks that you can already do with it within the plugin. You just need to be a little bit clever on how to use the plugin with CSS and a few other things. So we'll look out for that video. Me and Martin are probably going to be doing some of those together. Uh, thank you. If you guys find anything that you may uh, need that the plugin is missing, let me know so we can work on version 1.7.